In a previous video, I showed you how to set up the Nerd Miner 2s. I'll leave a little card up the top where you can select um, to watch that if you haven't seen already. But what happened was most of them set up fine. There was a couple, including this one here, which wouldn't connect to the internet. So what I've done is I've plugged into the dock here, the um, USB power dock, and I've connected the computer up and we've got a dual screen where you can see what's happening on the device itself and the um, clearing through the website. So we go to this website here, which is flasher.bitronics.store. Now I have to say as well that if you do this process and you're still having issues, the Bitcoin merch store definitely have a good support team. They are the ones that sent this out to me, these devices. So um, follow up with support if this doesn't help, but I do enjoy trying these sort of things myself. And this is what I found worked for me. So what you do next is you have to select one of these options here. Now, initially when I first tried this, cause I was doing it all by myself, I went through different ones of these to see which one would work. And I discovered that this one here is the one to use for these Nerd Miner 2s, which is the Lil uh, LilyGo S3 dongle. So what I've done is I've plugged it in here. What I suggest you do first is Arrays Flash. This gets it back to the beginning. So you'll see here, you just select the USB. Now, if you don't have one of these docking stations, you can just connect it through USB in the computer and it works perfectly fine but we'll go connect through here. And now this will erase the device so you can then reload the software back on. This will basically flash the device. Now we'll show you as well um, a method where if the device was sort of blocked and you couldn't get it to work, a way of actually forcing it to work. So we're just gonna wait for it to flash. Now, if this doesn't flash, I will have to show you that particular method on how to force it into um, a mode where you can actually have it flashing. But this should only take a few moments. I'll probably cut some bits out if it doesn't work, but as it says here, successfully erased uh, flash memory. So let's just turn it off and see if it's done. If it's done, you'll notice that the screen will have nothing on there. So the screen won't be able to start and it won't show anything. So as you can see, that's doing that. And it keeps the computer beeping and buzzing to say that it's trying to connect to the USB, but it can't. So this is now where I'll show you the spe special method to now flash the software on there. So the computer recognizes it. What you need to do is unplug it. We'll refresh the screen here. Well, actually, we'll leave it the way it is. We don't need to really refresh it. We'll still keep it on the S3 dongle. But what we need to do is, with the back button, that needs to be held in while pushing it. Switch it on. It will allow the computer to recognize it and it will stay active. And then we need to go flash. What will happen is if you don't hold it in, it will just keep connecting and disconnecting and reconnecting. And if it keeps doing that, it will come up with unable to flash or processes stopped. Now, sometimes this can take a few minutes. So let's see if it's uh, gonna work immediately. Cannot read properties. So let's refresh the screen. Go back to the one we need. Now this can take few moments just to do what it needs to. We'll go flash. We'll connect this one here. Still holding it in just to make sure. And this will all complete to the end once it's done successfully. It took me a few attempts sometimes, but as long as you're holding it in and you've refreshed the screen, it should work perfectly fine. So as you can see, it says successfully flashed. Now what we'll do is we'll just switch it off to reset the properties, turn it back on, and it goes back to initializing. And after it says initializing, it should go to continue to Wi-Fi for more setup. If it doesn't, then you basically have to do the process again. 
what we'll do, because this is initializing longer than it should, we're going to switch it off, switch it back on. As I said, there's been a few occasions where I've had to just reflash it just to make sure, but as you saw, it's gone now to use Wi-Fi for setup. Now this re-puts the software on, and since the software has been refreshed and put on, this should resolve any of the issues that you have. Now you just have to follow the setup that's in the other video, and you should be all sweet with um, setting up these nerd miners. Anyway, that hopefully sorts out this issue for you, and thanks for watching.